And look, please, just no more salt in the shop. There's rust on every... Are you even listening to me? Fine. I'm going to do this week's project on my own. And there won't be a drop of epoxy in it. Look, just stop. I'd rather just get to the project. We have two boards that are the same thickness. We have a piece of maple and a piece of walnut. I need both of these boards to be the same dimension. I need them to both be 9 inches wide and 14 inches long. So we'll stick these two together with some double stick tape. Here we go, we're going to glue up our board. So, something interesting, this is my first cutting board I've ever done. I've never made a cutting board. I know that one of the principles of woodworking is that you have to make a cutting board. Um, so, you know, here I am. Just a simple cutting board. You know I've got another one of these I have to glue up. clean off this glue. Whew. What'd you say? What was that? That was if you wanted to. You could stop here. Finish up with some sanding and you got a couple of really pretty cutting boards, but um, I think we should take it a step further. So we're going to take our two boards and we're going to stick them together again with double stick tape. I put my largest blade down here, which will reduce the radius of, of curves that I can make, but I'm hoping that I'll get less tool marks because of that. in theory, I suppose, but now I've got burn marks instead of tool marks. And that's what they're going to look like. Looks like they're all dry. I'm going to take them out of clamps and send them through the planer. Oh, that's getting pretty cool looking. So my original plan for this was to have two cutting boards. And these are just, I don't know, they're really interesting looking. But I was thinking it would be even cooler if I doubled it up. board to register as flat. I'm pushing down against it to make sure that both sides are flat against it. No matter how many clamps we have, there's some sort of woodworking disease that makes us just add one more clamp. So it's out of clamps. What did I miss? What else did you miss? Well, I went ahead and routed a couple of handholds for the bottom, just a rabbiting bit, and mostly just I've been sanding around the edges over here and uh, just been getting it smooth. And I'm just going to go ahead and put on the finish now. Traditional finish is simply mineral oil, and that's all I'm going to do. I've seen lots of different finishes on cutting boards, but 
Since this is my first one, I figured we'd go traditional. Oops. And we're just gonna wipe off the excess. Got a little extra on there. It's okay, mineral oil is cheap, so it's not a big deal. If he comes anywhere near this with his epoxy, I'll shoot him. Well, we don't always get along, but there's no denying that he does good work. So I saw this project back in 2009 on the Lumberjocks website, uh, and the poster called it Drunken Cutting Boards. And I really like the way that they look, and it's taken me this long to finally try it. The only thing I would mention as a hiccup in this is that you really want to be careful about blade drift. I had a little blade drift and that caused a, a little bit of gaps, um, but most of that was fixed with the clamping pressure. And I will put a link in the description to the original plans. Thank you very much for watching and please subscribe.